Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create a stored procedure in Postgres. Stored procedure is a stored proce procedure is called from your database to abstract database operations. A stored procedure is prepared SQL code that consists of several SQL statements that are saved and reused. For example, if you want to add a uh, new customer to your uh, database, you would have to uh, you would have to did update multiple tables with a stored procedure, however, you can save the required SQL statement, parameterize it, and call the stored procedure to add a new customer and supply the required data. SPs, or stored procedures, are used to group a set of SQL statements that we want to reuse in the future. SPs improve the speed of our database. Databases, because the number of SQL statements set to the DB are reduced to only one, SP being set to the target DB. SPs also allow us to separate the DB logic from the application functionality. So, if we wanted to modify a specific SQL statement, no logic in the application would change. The application layer will, will only receive changes if the SP name or input is changed. Uh, this also removes all the SQL statements from your Python applications. Now, to be able uh, to uh, use uh, stored procedures, we're going to use the Postgres shell. Because stored procedures have nothing to do with our Python applications, they belong to our database. Uh, our application only calls, the, uh, only calls them. So first off, make sure you're connected to the database. Uh, when the database name ap appears here, you're connected. Otherwise, just say backslash C and then company underscore sales. Uh, hit enter, you will be connected to that database. Now, uh, first off, we need to make sure that whether or not the stored procedure functionality is available by doing backslash H, create a procedure, procedure, Let's hit that and uh, syntax error create procedure um, let's terminate it we get the same okay so what is it? it says define a new procedure syntax create or backslash I don't think there is any backslash so I'm just gonna say create a procedure procedure let's hit enter I think the procedure is created. Uh, we are already uh, connected to our database. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say create or replace procedure uh, that name internal configuration parameter Postgres create procedure backslash H it was backslash h create procedure it is usually available so don't worry about it so we are going to say uh, now to be able to create a procedure never uh, terminate your statements with a semicolon you need to keep going until there are because this is a multi-line statement so we are going to say uh, create or replace procedure what is the procedure name this that I'm writing right now return uh, now what do we want to do actually with this procedure I probably should tell you first now what we want to grab we want to create a procedure that will allow customers to re retrieve non discounted items this SP is going to have two parameters an order ID which is the type of integer and the number of items to be returned which is also an integer so and we're gonna ca call this return non-discounted underscore item so this is the name of the store procedure it is going to have two items the first one is all, both of them are integers uh, one of them is going to be uh, the order id and the other one is the number of items to be returned so let's uh, add that there let's hit enter do not provide a semicolon uh, hit enter there we go it is going to ask you for another line and I'm gonna say let's add the language so the language is going to be PLP uh, GS G PLP GS SQL PLP GSQL perfect and then we are gonna say as D 
double dollar sign now as is going to separate the heading and the body of the store procedure double dollar sign is going to indicate the start of the body of the procedure so so far this was the head of the procedure and now the body of the procedure is going to start we're going to say begin and from there i'm going to say update sales so we want to update our sale so update the sale and now you can see how these are different so we are within this query yet that's why we have dashes we are within the body that's why there is like dollar sign you can see how this changes based on what it is you're doing so update sales what do we want to set the quantity so basically what i want to do is i want to grab the quantity we know how we can update it and i'm going to say quantity minus uh dollar sign two what this minus dollar sign says is whatever the quantity is minus whatever the quant whatever value has been passed as the second parameter which is the number of items to be returned which is what we want the quantity to uh, to be updated to we are going to take a look at that don't worry so don't really worry about it because we are going to go over this example now whatever the quantity is we are going to reduce it by whatever number is being passed in here so and then i'm going to say order total we need to adjust that as well i'm going to say order total is going to be equal to order uh, underscore total uh, minus price uh, times dollar sign two now what this means is we are trying to adjust the order total by subtracting the amount we are returning from the order total itself so just pass in two hit enter we are going to say where now we need to specify which record it is right so we are going to say order num is equal to dollar sign one and discount Okay, so this count is equal to zero. So I'm going to pass that there. So, so far we are done with the uh, implementation. So I'm just going to pass in semicolon. We are going to commit the changes. So let's commit the changes semicolon. And then we are going to end the transaction as well. And to close the body, we are just going to say double dollar sign and hit enter okay so it says uh okay so this is following this first one i think i need to redo everything that i did right now so i'm going to say create or replace and i'm going to say from there uh, i'm going to set the language so the next one is language the next one is uh, the uh, separating the header from the body the head from the body and start of the body so you can see that the dollar sign is there and then we are going to begin the body begin the transaction the transaction is going to be update we are going to set the quantity from there we are going to pass in what it is that we are actually changing or we are actually updating uh, the conditional and then after we pass in the conditional the transaction is completed let's uh, commit the changes and after we have committed the changes let's close the transaction and let's close the body as well and it says create procedure so in this uh, stored procedure what we have actually done is we have basically created only like one SQL statement and that is this part this part is our SQL state the reason that it didn't work was this create procedure was active when i hit enter and when i had this one inserted the reason that this was active was because i did not terminate it with a semicolon so you need to be very careful terminate this with a semicolon so what by uh, what the sql shell uh, grabbed from this or got from it was it grabbed this create procedure and combined it with the rest of these that's why there is an error it says create it says you have already said create where you why are you saying create again you have said it here so we we redid it again and it is working you can see we are out of that so we are basically in the normal flow of this so uh we can grab this select so i'm going to grab this item that we are trying to update so i'm going to say from sale where the 
um, order num order num and order underscore num is equal to 15910 let's take a look at that where order num select that from the database oh this one is removed so let me add we were working with which one hmm. we basically passed in a command here so we are not actually selecting anyone we are not actually calling upon this store procedure we're going to call upon it as well so there we go this is our order number keep this in mind this quantity is three right now if i call the store procedure what it is going to do it is going to grab this quantity and make it two and it is going to change the order total as well so how how is the, how does that actually work how can you call a store procedure you basically say call the name of the store procedure which is return non uh discounted i hope you're not being confused it is very simple uh item Let's pass in the uh, order total because we know what this requires, right? So this is going to require from, from us the order total and what is the other one? The other one is going to be the uh, number of items that we want to be reduced from the quantity. So the order total is 110.59.10 and I just want to reduce it by 1. Perfect. Now, if I call that statement again, you can see quantity from two has from three has been decreased to two. Fifty-seven minus nineteen, we are going to get thirty-eight. So you can see how this store procedure is going to allow us. So you just call that store procedure. What it does under the hood is it implements these three uh, clauses or this update statement. Now, what if you say what if Let's say you have 10 statements with just one line, one SQL command, you can implement those 10 lines. So at the end of the day, you have significantly reduced the number of lines of commands that you have to write. This is the good thing about stored procedures. Now, uh, we can see it is 2. Uh, we basically said select, we selected it, and it is 2. That's it for this lecture. In the next one, we are going to... Uh, call the store procedure in Python. So it is going to be subsequently reduced by one as well. The reason that it is not created in Python is it doesn't have anything to do with Python. It is something that f solely belongs to databases. So you can't create store procedure only in databases. You cannot create them in Python. You can call them from Python. That's what we are going to do in our next lecture.